catch the bus to work. What's wrong with that? I, I mean, at least I got an apartment. So, yeah, I catch the bus to work. And there ain't nothing wrong with that. No, so... I'm uh I just turned my uh so you'll be able to get all this out. I just turned my little recorder on since I'm not on live no more. I'm just letting you know whatever you want to say. I'm just gonna make it a separate video. You got the flow. Yeah, that, that's fine. So random news, I, like I said, I can understand that you got people as well as yourself that can't stand me. Shit, I can't even stand myself. So I'm just letting you know that you know I can't stand me. It ain't you know I'm not trying to you know sweet talk y'all to like me or none of that shit. I know me and Tiffany still may not like each other. It is what it is, but I'm not gonna force anybody to like me, and I'm sure she ain't gonna force a motherfucker to like her. Right. Just like everybody else. We grow. And it takes for a man to be on the phone with a female who don't, they don't like each other, mm -hmm. who need to be speaking, who mm -hmm. need to be answering her questions. That's growth. That's growth in if y'all wanna know what GD really mean. And for me to sit here and answer these questions, that's social in development. I'm being social with y'all in development. That's what SD mean if y'all want to be educated. So like I said, I did say if Mama Teresa no, keyword if I did say that. That little V that little recording of so called King Rob that was on the phone with me saying Mama Teresa know all about shit. That was not me. Cause I'm sure that's what they thinking about. That recording of them so called on the phone with me. That was not me. Right. That and you have a distinct me. voice. Exactly. That was clearly not me. So please knock it the fuck off. So grab <laughs> anything else you you got to say, bro. Like I said, it is what it is, bro. I'm a father. I don't got time to go back and forth with you. But it says you got a lot of time on your hands to continue to talk about another nigga. But you like me or something, or you trying to take me on a date or some shit, I don't give a fuck what you say of me saying that. But, you know, when I went to school, the motherfuckers talk about one person, that means they like them. That means they want to fuck, fuck them. That means they want to go on a date with them. Dude, you got a lot of shit to say about me. You got me all over your videos, my raps, my face, animations of me, all type of shit, bro. You, is you, um, I'm saying, you gay or some shit, man? You, you went to guys, like, and, 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 and I, talk about. let me say this. I told, uh, P. Rico, I didn't want him to feel like it was a setup when I started seeing some of the comments and the questions. That's why I didn't ask, but he, at 4753, since P. Rico said it was okay, I'm a, Ask him why he said he saw the table Kanika being killed. I never heard you say that. I don't think, but if you you want to address what random. Yeah, I did say that. I did say that I seen the table of Kanika getting killed because uh, Will Chamberlain, not not Will Lewis Chamberlain. I said Will Chamberlain. <laughs> Lewis Chamberlain um showed me a video and I'm like, damn, man, I was fucked up at the time. I was high as hell, so from my eyes, it did look like what he said. So I'm like, damn, yeah, Joe, I see, you know, can even get killed type shit. But when I sobered up and I seen the video, I'm like, man, this shit glorious here. You can't tell if a motherfucker doing something to somebody. And I immediately cleared that shit up. And one, no, I kept continuing to talk about it and ran out with it. I cleared that shit up. Just like I cleared it up when I said, man, Joe, they took out organs and shit. I cleared that shit up. Yeah. I'm one type of person that talked about the shit and just let it happen. I cleared the shit up when I was wrong. Oh, okay. So basically you saying you already this is uh what what are we September twenty seventh, two thousand twenty one. So this is brand new fresh information from P Rico himself. Basically he's saying that he already cleared this up. That's what you're saying. I've been cleared this shit up like literally years ago. Cause like I said, this case down there four years old. So if any video or if anything people putting on me from four years ago, it goes to show you they ain't been watching my lives after. They only been watching those lives but continue to talk shit about me now in present time when I've been clearing that shit up. Then when a motherfucker found out that I did clear it up, they're going to be looking shitty booty. And like I literally people trolling me for what? Like, right. I've been over this shit. People still trolling me for what? People still talking about me for what? People making fun of how I get the work for what? 
I'm just making money. I'm getting income. People making fun of me and my daughter for what? Like, literally, shit like that would get a motherfucker fucked up, for real. But I'm not going to continue to talk shit to a motherfucker through the internet. That's why I said I'm not that type of person no more. I'm, I'm, all I do is go on live, talk about cases that go on in Chicago, talk about police brutality, and I'm done. I don't say <coughs> shit about Shadow Dial like that no more. I don't say shit about Lamar. I don't say shit about random dudes. I don't say shit about Chosen King. I don't say shit about them for them to continue to say some shit about me. That goes to show you who moved on and who didn't move on. They need my name to stay relevant. Jedediah is still saying stuff about you? No, I'm just saying. They just need my name to stay relevant. Oh, okay. Chosen all they ask. They need my name to stay relevant as fuck. Jed don't want no smoke. He me and your own weed's poor man did a one-on-one. -on -one. This nigga pulled up with like 12 females Ooh. and like eight niggas and shit on some try to jump on the type of shit. So we don't need to talk about Jed because, like I said, yeah. my phone don't want no smoke. Man. I, and I was with I was all for it. But um, like I was saying, this random news nigga, all that shit, bro, like, like I said, man, you, you, you monetize, you get money on your um, YouTube, you can bring your ass up out here and say you want to beat me. We can meet up. I'm not going to do shit to you. I ain't gonna do shit to you at all. I smoke a blunt with your ass, do an interview with your ass. You get to know me. If you want to continue to troll me, then, it, like I said, it is what it is. You keep doing your thing, fam. I, I'm flattered. You see, it's like you like me, bro. It's cool. You need my name to stay relevant. That's it. You, you need, you literally need to make parody videos of me to stay relevant. And all them hoes that's dick riding you, they, they want me. They want to fuck me to be 100 because of me. Mainly these women that's been trolling me, they have been in my fucking inbox wanting to fuck me. Luckily, I deleted that shit, because if I didn't delete that shit, I would have screenshotted that shit, sent that shit to Tiffany, and she would have put it on my shit so y'all can see how all these women that been trolling me want to mm. fuck me. What did you talk about? Mm. And I believe so like it. like I said, like I said, y'all women can say whatever y'all want to say about me, but y'all can't take away one thing from me. I'm a good father, and I, I do what I need to do to stay alive in Chicago. I've been living for 27 motherfucking years. Most motherfuckers can't even live to see my age. Mm, especially I, from I, where I, you I, coming I, from, right? Exactly. I've got homies who literally died this year, who I grew up with. Like, people don't know shit that a person been through. They just want to talk shit about them because they feel... All is right because all because of the movement of Kanika James. That's all because of the movement. That people seen that I was out there doing the shit I was doing. They thought I was acting. They thought I just wanted some attention. Before all this shit, I'm saying again. Before all this shit, people already knew who I was. Right. And I'm not gonna get to details about what I did on the streets because right. that'd be stupid. Mm -hmm. But like I said, people already knew who the fuck I was. I don't need. To sock a ball, kick the goal, to kick it. What the fuck is you talking about? I don't need none of that, bro. Now, you now, what's your that? channel so I can um unblock you from when we were beefing? Because I want you to, if you ever come to my videos and somebody talking noise, I think it's fair that you should be able to be in the chat if you choose. Like, I know you're a grown man, but if you choose to defend yourself or whatever, I really feel like that's fair. Uh, I'd, rather, I'd rather not go to the chat. Oh, okay. Type. Okay. I'd Talk about the shit there and there, you know? If I'm not busy, I'd rather call you and talk about the shit. I ain't gonna be in the chat. I'm gonna keep wasting my motherfucking stamina typing shit. Okay. Just call and talk about the shit. If they wanna continue to be keyboard warriors, so be it. Let them be on keyboard warriors. They wanna ask me questions, it's the right or wrong way to ask questions. I don't care how y'all ask it, but be advised. Respect, bro. That's all I ask for is respect. That's all. I'm not gonna disrespect you unless I feel disrespected. See, so the, the, if anybody want to know anything, ask Tiffany. She asks me. She don't. You don't, Tiffany. You don't gotta feel like it's a setup. I, okay. I will answer every single question people want to know. But you know how That's some true. content creators will do that. They'll try to bring you on on some positive stuff, but then. They'll have people asking questions just to get more views and to make you upset. I just didn't want you to get upset. You know what I'm saying? Because that wasn't my goal. You see what I'm saying? This shit don't upset me no more. This shit do not upset me no more. I laugh, I laugh at how I used to act. 
I ain't gonna lie, I'm disappointed in myself when I first got on to the Kanika Jenkins case, how I was acting, when I was getting to it with Chosen and shit. I'm disappointed in myself that I let motherfucking take me there that far. Yeah. But, like I said, as I grew and as I, you know, witnessed shit, my, my whole perspective had changed. So it's like I said, man, I ain't finna let nobody take me out of my body. You ain't finna hear me yelling and screaming like how I was in that Chosen um, video. I don't got the energy for that shit no more, man. If motherfucker wanna. You know, if they want to ask questions, ask questions. If a motherfucker want to, um, motherfucker want to box, motherfucker do that charity box shit. We do that too. They don't, they, they ain't going to want to get in the ring. Yeah, that, that be my thing. So motherfucker got a mouth. If y'all got a mouth like that, y'all should apply for the WWE to cut a promo for a motherfucker. <laughs> shit, y'all be hella promo writers, writers bro. And then I see motherfuckers making fun of how I talk. Of course, I'm tongue-tied. I can't pronounce words the correct way how they're supposed to be pronounced. So that that is something I don't get mad at. Motherfuckers used to make fun of me at that in school. But I was still one of the smartest motherfuckers in school since I got my high school diploma. Shit. I just want to thank you for taking care of the child that you created. And because it's a lot of deadbeat dads out here. So I just want to commend you on that. And I did have another question. When you were out there with the activism and stuff, did you ever get a chance to talk to any of Kanika's friends that were there that night? Oh, yeah, yeah. I was able to talk to the majority of her friends, actually, especially at the group. But it was one of those little, I'm sorry for your loss, and do y'all know what happened? Now nah, I don't know what happened type shit. Monifa, me and her had words multiple times that, Slut, she knows Uh-oh. more than what the fuck, you know, she's saying. Like, I, I think I still got a video of her sucking dick, so Ooh. she can't even do that good. Ooh. That's crazy. She talk a lot of shit, but don't know how to suck dick. She knows she just had a baby, shit. right? She just had a little baby. Oh, no, yeah, no, nah, I'm she just saying. You say what? Oh. Wait a minute. I see, can't. I, like, like I, see, I, 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 I will tell you that still. But <laughs> no. It is what it is, man. Her ass, bro. She knows more than what the fuck she's saying. And then go on um, try to talk some shit to me. And, bitch, you work at Dunkin' Donuts. Stop it the fuck out. Right. Donuts, donuts taste, bitch. What, what gave you the vibe that she knew more? Or you just, you just. She was, first of all, she was laughing at the funeral. Second of all, she was the last person I've seen with Kanika and had all her stuff. Mm. That's why I feel like she had something to do with it. And then why was she lip gloss over there by Kanika's body? Mm-hmm. This is an exclusive interview with Pete Rico. This is somebody that's actually been there talking to these people, not like us YouTubers. He was literally been around these people in real life so oh that's your baby yeah she's running around doing something she ain't running around saying she's Puerto Rican she running around screaming oh she say she Puerto Rican that's so and cute and she always say that sometimes that I'll be like alright oh, like, I know you Puerto Rican we, we all know you Puerto Rican and black <laughs> Her, so her mama, uh, she represents chocolate like me, little brown skin. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You got to get you some brown skin. But anyway, <laughs> listen, I'm going to hear you because I know four-year-olds, my nephew five, I know they be wanting your attention. They command your attention. So you said she was laughing at the funeral? I mean, this video is going to be crazy. This is exclusive. Yeah, she was definitely laughing at the funeral. When I was there, me and... Anton, Antoine Montgomery. If, if, yeah, Antoine Montgomery. We, we both seen her laughing. We pulled on the side. And I'm like, man, I, I was nice enough to give her. And I was like, what happened? Like, do you know anything that happened type stuff? She didn't want to say nothing. She was just stood right there just laughing. Wow. She was right there laughing like goofy. See, and that's why people, I think, try to shut you up and don't want you to talk is because you know the truth and you're going to tell the truth because you got to deal with these people in real life. 
Yeah, people ride here lines, man. They ride here them lines because they scared of the truth. So they, they get branded by the lies and they run with that shit and get paid off of it, man. <laughs> Let me see if I had any more questions in the chat. Hold on, I'm just skipping through. Because, like I said, you, but you do know, like I said, YouTubers will do that on purpose. They will have people come in or they will add people to the show to piss the person off because they know it'll get more views. And my whole thing is, no, nah, I want to keep it cordial between me and P. Rico. I want to keep it, you know, I don't want to have any issues with P. Rico. So I'm not going to ask him these questions because to me, that's fake. Chosen would have did you like that. I promise you. He would have, oh, act like, oh, you know, we cool now. Let's be cool. But uh, let's talk about bowling, P. Rico. Or something yeah, weird. Bowling, like, bro, like, that's, man, when he came to Chicago, he showed him want to try to pull up on me. I told him, man, you got to stop playing with him. Because he's going to get you in trouble. Because he's going to get you in trouble. They know who to play with. Yeah, that's that's exactly what I was gonna say. Motherfuckers know who and who not to play with. Don't let this light skin, handsome, whatever y'all wanna call me, shit fool you. Real talk. That's why I say I'm not gonna talk about what I did on the streets because that shit past tense. But I will talk about what I'm still capable of, and that's knocking the motherfucker out. Oh man, listen, I've gotten texts and emails as soon as I ended the live. They're, oh, that's a good live. That's a good live. But I need y'all to understand it's not just for entertainment, though. This man, this is man real life that pe- that this Nia girl is lying. My fact, let me, I'm going to find a link. You ain't been to her channel or you don't, you don't care to know? Yeah, I, I seen the video and I was like, man, because um, I think Chris, Chris, Christy Blue, if that's her name, Christy. Yeah, shout out to Christy. She's uh, one of my supporters. Yeah, she, um, she reached out to me and she showed me the video. And I, I just so happened to watch it and I just got tired of hearing that lady voice. So I was mm-hmm. like, I'm just, I'm gonna just tell her to tell uh, Tim to hit me up because people, that's that's not cool to put a baby on the motherfucker, bro. And then on top of that. To to basically insinuate that you was okay with your baby getting killed and sacrificed at the hotel, like all these other weird random theories and narratives. Yeah, that shit sound like a movie. It's a Michael Myers movie. Motherfucker born and the baby get killed and she get killed type shit. People just you got your baby you know, right there with you. Kills. And I'm glad that they could hear your baby right there with you. Like, you care about your child, so what makes them think that you would allow your baby to get sacrificed in the hotel when you literally taking care of the baby that you have now? Exactly. People don't use common sense. But now, listen, thank you again, P. Rico, for this exclusive. I'm about to get this video up here because the truth needs to be heard. Yeah, I just, like I said, and if they got no questions... Feel free to hit me up and I'll answer them questions because, yeah, a lot of people misunderstand me. They misunderstand me. They just think I made a live saying, yeah, oh, yeah, she, she knew about this, and that's it. Mm-hmm. Like, I ain't make a live saying I was wrong about certain shit also, like, literally. Mm-hmm. So, no, yeah, most they, definitely. They can hold that on me, that's fine. They can hold it on me. They don't have to believe me. I don't, I don't give a fuck. Personally, I'm not gonna babysit grown people. I got a whole child to take care of, but like I said, it's, it's, they, they either listen, they don't listen, they, they don't believe me, they don't have to believe me, that it's fine. I'm not gonna sit here and prove myself to people who I've never seen in a day of my life. And nine times out of ten, I would never see in a day of my life. Somebody said, I've never been to ATL. Yes, I have been to ATL. That's what people don't understand. Like, you think I don't got the money to go places? Like, what makes you think I don't have the money to go places? I've literally been to ATL for my big brother who performed out there. His name, Loose Cannon. He performed one of his raps out there. I was out there for a couple days, but so what? I was out there. Somebody said that in my chat that you you never went to Atlanta or something. Yeah, we was at downtown Atlanta at the club. I can pull up this flyer right now and tell them exactly what club it was. 
I was there to support my big brother in his rap. I was in ATL. Dang, I'm going to go through... I'm going to go through and read everything and write any questions down that I may not have asked you in this one. And that way, whenever we get around to doing it again, because I just want the people to know that you're not afraid to address anything. I'm definitely not. Like, oh, man, people, it's so funny. He ain't, he ain't, he ain't never been ATL. He don't got the money to go. <laughs> oh, man, just because I catch the bus don't mean I don't got no money. Shit, catching the bus is way better than having a car. I was just going. I was just going to say, you save money on the bus. Yeah, yeah, save hella money. I'm just a smart person. I invest into my stocks. I'm making sure that my daughter for now, I'm a college tuition pay. Like, man, people, like I say, they misunderstand me, man. They misunderstand me a lot. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm gonna do- say I'll I be um. I protect ships for a living. And if you want to be technical, I'm a supervisor for an armed security company named NIPS. So, um, like I said, it is what it is, man. You said you protect chimps for a living? Chips. 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 Potato chips? Yeah, potato chips. That's what random news here, the crack of joking. You'd be on YouTube talking about another man for a living. So what that makes you? You and Jenna Dye make a good couple, because, um, I mean... I'm not like finna play. I'm not finna play. <laughs> they both sweet in the ass, it seems like. I can't I'm do it. I'm talking shit about another man, boy. Damn. <laughs> well, hopefully this uh, clears some things yeah. up, Pirico. All right, cool. Like, Randall Lewis, how about Big Takes? Since you make um. videos about me and all that shit, that's what I'm on. That's the question I got for you. Huh? No, <laughs> no. That, here we go. Listen, I got your number saved, and I promise you, if, if I if I need anything regarding any more interviews, I'm definitely gonna hit you up. All right, cool. All right, then, bye. <laughs> so there you have it, folks. So after we just did the live with P Rico, he hit me back up on the phone because he saw a couple of comments that either I didn't see or I decided not to ask him because, like I said, I didn't want it to make it feel like it was like a setup or something. So, but random, you know, we cool. Uh, other YouTubers, you know, we cool, but. I don't know nothing about Jid. I don't care nothing about Jid. So he, you know. But, yeah, the views and opinions of Pete Rico does not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of me. However, I think it's fair that both sides get to speak. So if Random News ever wants to speak, that's fine. Or maybe I or I can set up, like, a thing where you and Pete Rico can talk it out. But... He just doesn't want to do no typing in the chat, which I totally understand. It's your girl, Tiffany M. Draper. You heard it here first. All right? I'm out. Make sure you smash that like button and share this to all the Kanika Jenkins groups. Share it everywhere.